Welcome back to Newsday. You've been watching our coverage of the end bad governance protest in Nigeria. And we now cross live to Ojota, where our senior correspondent Tokumbo Oyetunji is standing by in Ojota. Tokumbo, can you give us an update on what's happening where you are? Thank you, uh, Timito Poy and Vimbai, for joining us here at uh, Ojota. We're still at the Ganifawa Imi Park. Just a few meters away from where I'm standing, close to the bridge. That's, that's one of the protesters trying to let you know that they need to be pitied by the authorities. That's what he's saying in Yoruba. Uh, I, was I was trying to tell you that just a few meters away from where I'm standing, close to uh, the K2 bridge, is the crowd of protesters you know, that has been here all day, all morning, all afternoon. The crowd has been there. They're not relenting. What we have heard is some of their leaders actually trying to address the crowd, retreating their demands to the government. Tokwe, let me quickly uh, give you an update on the report we gave earlier in the day. Right by my side here is just uh, the Ganifa Oemi Park itself, where the protesters were expected to gather. If you look closely over there, you see that the place is now being... Uh, uh, being been, uh, the, the grass there is being caught by some of uh, uh, the laborers, I mean, sent by the authorities. I mean, that's, that's, that's following our report that we did much earlier in the day, you know, depicting the, the, the picture of the entire place. Part of the reasons why some of the protesters actually said they can't move into that place because it's, it's not in a proper uh, uh, shape. Now, maybe as part of, uh, in response to that uh, 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 re, uh, that's thought by the protesters, the authorities are now putting the place in order. So we don't know, but the protesters are still very much right on the road there, addressing themselves, talking about their grievances. I have one of the members of the Take It Back group, you know, that has been very, very, very prominent in organizing this uh, nationwide hashtag end bad governance protest right here with me. Uh, Agedo Kenny Day is right here with me. He's been here all day and he's going to be talking to me about what is going on. I learned that you have a 10 point demand yes. that you are putting across to the authorities. Quickly list some of these because we know that the authorities have been actually been trying to engage responding to some of these your demands. Some are asking if they are responding to these demands, why are you still remaining on the street? Oh, well, one of the uh, demands that I've been flying uh, on social media and the authority have, uh, have, 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 have noticed it. One of it is uh, take away the, uh, the subsidy away. Take away the... You want the, them to take the subsidy or you want them to return the subsidy? They should return the subsidy. Okay. Uh, the uh, energy tariff should be... Should be reserved. Should, should be reserved with intimate defense. The custom duty is on the high side. And what have you. But the main major things that are never in Nigeria that they are not part of the uh, coalition that, uh, that did the demands on the street are requesting for good governance. Take away uh, the hunger, uh, take away insecurity. Let there be uh, harmony in the land. Tunumbu, hello. Yeah, yeah. Tunumbu promised uh, a change. APC promised a change since 2015. As of today, the country is a state of jeopardy. Nothing is being working. A couple of uh, gari now. You can't even buy gari. As are today. Okay, let's 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 take let's take the issue of hunger for instance. The authorities have said they are making moves. They are sending trucks of food across the 36 the 36 states of Nigeria to distribute to people and and you know in in uh, in some uh, other areas sell you know uh, an item like rice that is very very expensive at almost half the price. That is not enough for you. And even yesterday, Governor uh, Babajidi Sonwulu of Lagos addressed Lagosians as regards the, some of these grievances that you are put across. He listed some of the things that they are doing, the own Jericho uh, initiative, for instance, the Lira Eco, for instance, and all those. I mean, is that not a move 
that you push, you know, she will, she will reason along with the government to say, okay, let's see how this works and engage more with them to see how this thing can be, can, can be worked out properly if you think it's not working out properly the way you want it. You said something now, we make references to Governor Son Wolu. We are talking about 36 states of the country. If Son Wolu is doing palliative to Lagosian as a case study, what about people in Edo? What about people in Oshogbo? What about people in the northern state of, uh, uh, of this country? As of today, there's a lot of car shouting in the north. It's not about uh, Son Wolu bringing up palliative now. This is a uniformed uprising, hunger. There is this saying in Yoruba language that said, I didn't know you would interpret that to me at this junction. As at now, there is no anything the government of a state wants to do. The owners rose on Bola Akhmet he, 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 he put a lot of uh, 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 shenanigans in his government. On the day of your arrival, he said subsidy gone. No matter how the trailer of uh, goods and commodity that the government of the day want to rule, is it reaching to the doorstep of the masses? But, 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 the, but the argument that the government has put across is that which of the it, it, it was, is this some old government? Even the, the federal authorities. No, that is, is that the, is hold on, hold on, Kennedy. Is that it was almost a consensus among all, even the contesting parties then that subsidy had to go, that it was just a way of siphoning Nigeria's resources, you know, that was supposed to be uh, getting across to you and I, you know, the, the ordinary man, that it was just a few people getting these, these resources, that except these subsidies taken away, we can't actually get anywhere. So you, you, you don't believe that government's actually doing something. Oh, okay. At this juncture, now let the presidency show all the all state governor accountability for what they have did because they, there's a lot of bailout, uh, bail bond uh, that the, uh, the uh, uh, President Bola Tunumbu gave all the 36 states of the country. The subsidy palliative and some money that they gave to them is not reaching at the doorstep of the common masses. Price control is not, you, you, you can't go to the market now and go with 10,000 and I get sometimes my back home. It took federal government a lot of time. Uh, to, to, to peg minimum wages to 70,000 naira in 21st century. Kaidi, we know that there are many issues, just like you're putting them across, the authorities too are saying they're addressing those issues one after the other. We just hope there's going to be a meeting point between you, the organization, or the organizations that are putting this protest together and the authorities. Thank you very much for joining us on this live telecast. We're here still watching, uh, observing what is going on. And the, the protesters seem to be moving away from the point where they've been all day because, because the, the police authority, the police team here too is actually advancing. So we don't know what's, what's happening. We're just trying to watch, stay back and see there is some kind of agitation you know, among the crowd of uh, protesters. We don't know what exactly has, has happened, but we're here watching and observing and we're going to be uh, letting you know exactly how events here unfold. Screen as well, we will uh, continue to watch as um, things heat up. Is it that they're moving away from the park? Or what is this perimeter that they're trying to set up here? You said that the police were arriving. Is, does it mean that they're arriving? That's, that's, what, that's, what, that's, what, that's, what that's what I'm trying to find out, uh, Vimbai. I mean, if you just look, look, look at um, the, other, the opposite direction, the police team is trying to advance, moving right. towards the protesters. I guess that is why they are, they are agitated now. We don't know if the police team is coming here to actually disperse them. We don't know. But at least the, the mere sight of the police team has them agitated. The protesters agitated. And maybe they and have. Some of, their, some of their leaders are actually trying to calm them down so that this does not degenerate, really. And talking about maybe they finished cutting the grass and maybe they're ushering them into the park eventually. Hopefully, that is what is transpiring here rather than some other random uh, bust up. But as we said, we will keep the, the cameras rolling. I said maybe they finished cutting the grass and maybe they're trying to usher them into the park, but 
It's okay. We'll just keep uh, our eyes glued to this coverage. And of course, thank you for your continued coverage. And I ask you to stay safe out there as it seems that things are heating up. And um, of course, just uh, hang in there. We're still watching here on Newsday. Well, of course, you know, we're watching live updates from Ojota, where our correspondent, Okumbo Yetunji, has been giving us updates on what's happening there. We spoke with one of the organizers of the protest to ask why indeed they are doing this end bad governance protest. And he talked about the high cost of living. He talked about the fact that right from the very first day of this administration, it's been quite tough with the president removing subsidy right on the first day of his um, presidency. Well, of course, we are seeing some agitations. We do not actually understand what is going on. But our correspondent told us that the security forces were moving towards the protesters, and that's when they got agitated. The organizers are trying to calm tempers, and so far there's been no violence from the security forces and no violence from the protesters. So we are watching to see how this develops. And we're very thankful for the fact that everything has kept uh, very calm and peaceful until just now. Um, if you are just tuning in, uh, our correspondent is live on the ground, senior correspondent Tokumbo Oyetunji. He's in Lagos in Ojota. And it seems that Gani Fawemi Park is not available or ready to host the protesters who were originally scheduled to have their protest within this park, which is to the left and it seems that uh, the grass was not cut. It wasn't conducive to host a large crowd of individuals. So the government sent in some people to cut the grass and we saw them doing that earlier, which is why these individuals are still outside of the park, spilling onto the streets, which I'm sure is something that the police and security forces have tried to avoid as this could uh, be a case or cause some kind of disruption. But as we said earlier, the park is not uh, conducive to host protesters as it was scheduled to originally. So um, we are waiting to see whether these individuals will be moved into the park if it is prepared or exactly what the uh, security presence is for because as the police showed up, uh, tensions started to ratchet up. The volume has increased and um, Tokumbo, I'm sure you are still on ground. If you can hear me, um, can you let us know if you've heard uh, any updates? It seems like the crowd is moving back and things are calming down, which is a, a positive sign, but still confusion and a little bit of chaos here on the first day of the end go bad governance protests here in Ajata, Lagos. You're still watching Newsday live here on Arise News. We have had this coverage going on all day. All right, talking about we can hear you. So, uh, a chaotic scene it is around here, really. But what just happened? I mean, you see the the protesters trying to uh, go back to the point where they were before uh, that agitation actually started. Like I reported earlier, it was the sight of uh, the police team advancing that actually got them agitated. They thought they were actually coming to uh, disperse them. And some among the crowd there were actually trying to uh, get at the police and, and uh, uh, be a bit physical with them. But I think reason prevailed. Some of their leaders actually were able to, to calm them down so, and, and discuss with the police. And 
we see the police, uh, the police team still remaining at the, at the spot where they were, with some of the uh, majority of the protesters now going back to that same spot. You can, you can see some of their leaders actually uh, coming into. To, oh, this is this is getting physical now, really. This is it's getting physical. I mean, there, there's some kind of disagreement that is getting physical between among. The protesters, you see, this is part, it's, it's part of the issue, really. We don't know what's going on. Really. Oh, really? Well, I can say now, uh, after the storm, there is some, there is some kind of calm. You know, everybody's, um, the police team is still there, but the protesters are going back to the spot where they were probably to continue with the rally and addresses from uh, some of the leaders here. That's what's going on. I think the police team too is uh, retreating, They're going back to the spot where they were, just right in front of uh, the filling station where they, where they have been stationed all, all day, watching over our proceedings here. So we expect that everything will go back to normalcy and the protesters will continue with their, with their chants and demands on the authorities. Earlier we uh, talking about thank you so much for chatting with us. We'll catch up with you soon. We're heading to Freedom Park uh, in Ojota to speak with Oba Adeoye, who is on the ground and, of course, giving us live updates as this end bad governance protest uh, continues Today, Oba, thank you for joining us. Uh, give us the update. Yes, the update is that the protest is still ongoing here in Ojota, precisely at the popular Ganifa Oimi Park here in the heart of Ojota, Lagos. And um, leaders of the protesters have been taking turn to address the protesters, and you can see one of them addressing them at the moment. Before now, um, there was no sound system, so they could not address, um, you know, the crowd. But a um, moment ago, uh, they brought in sound systems, and uh, it has been from one speech to another speech uh, with intermittent music uh, all along. And um, we have also seen uh, some private Nigerians trying to donate uh, some items to support the supporters. Just a moment ago, someone came with... Um, several bags of pure water, cold pure water, you know, to support um, uh, the protesters. And we've also seen other people, you know, stopping their vehicle just to say a word or two, uh, a word of encouragement to uh, the protesters. A moment ago, uh, there was a kind of um, a disruption of activities here. We could not ascertain what the problem was, but we saw that, um, you know, a number of protesters I ran towards the direction, but according to um, the leader of the protest, you know, one of their leaders, he told them that they should ignore the police and come back. So that gave us an idea that it has to do with um, the police. So I'm trying to get one of them. I'm on live TV. Let him come now. I'm trying to get one of them to speak with us right now. One of the leaders of, um, of the protest. He, uh, he promised us to speak with us. And... Um, we are waiting for him. He will join us any moment from now. Let me also tell you that um, the protest has continued to grow as more people have, have been joining the protest. You know, we started small, not with this crowd, but at the moment now, we have more crowd. Let me see if I can get one of, um, one of the leaders of the protest uh, who has promised to uh, speak with us. Let me... Okay, L let me let me let me see if I can get him. Just hold on, please. Hello, can, can I? Sorry. Hello, Soweto. Can I have a word or two? We are on live TV right now. Just a word or two with you. Okay, no no problem. So, so we are still on ground, and uh, he said he's still very busy right now. So we will try to see if we can get uh, one or two. Other protesters around. Can I speak with you? Oba, can you hear? Like, we have announcements. Oba, you know, I'm just wondering, you know, if you can give us an All right, assessment let me have a word. 
Uh, but I'm wondering if you can give us an assessment, you know, of how the police officers have conducted themselves so far. Have they been friendly towards protesters or is there no sort of relationship, you know, going on between the police and the protesters at the moment? Yes, the, the police have practically been on holiday here in Ojota because they had little or nothing to do as the protesters have comported themselves, uh, you know, in a very uh, good manner. There has not been any kind of face-up between the police and, um, and the protesters. So the police practically have been, have been on break. They have been on holiday. So there, there's nothing um, like a crisis or a brush with um, the law enforcement agent. Let me speak with one of the uh, protesters here to find out if they have any uh, any sad experience in their interaction with the police. What's the name? Oh no, yeah, I think Boy is my name. So tell me, I'm actually one of the leaders of this coalition. So tell me about um, your relationship with um, the police since this protest started. Oh, we have had a very very cordial relationship with the police, especially in the morning at Ikeja. I personally met the CP and he promised that he's going to give us enough security. And that is what they did, you know. So we have no any issues with them. Even when we got here, they made sure we have enough security. So it's a very, very nice development. It's a very, very nice development that Nigeria plays first, Lagos State gave us security of this place. So you can listen to them. They have decided to recite the old national anthem instead of the one that um, you know was recently approved by the president. It's part of the protest because this is not the first time they'll be reciting that. They did that earlier, and I asked them why they are doing that, and they said that is part of their protest. So let, let me continue speaking uh, with this man. Before this protest, some talks threatened that they were going to attack the protesters. Have you seen any talk? Has there been any Oba, I'm so pain sorry of to interrupt this you. Yes, Oba, I'm so on sorry our to way interrupt. here from Ikeja on that bridge, we saw them, even at Ikeja, we saw them. Well, I'm so sorry to interrupt that, but we're completely out of time. Obadio, you're reporting live from Ojota in Lagos. Thank you so much for joining us on Newsday.